Welcome to Market Masterclass. Uh, this is investment assets we're discussing, and there are nine investment assets, and they include annuities, bonds, stocks, cash equivalents, alternatives, commodities, options, forex, and today we're going to focus on real estate. Now we all know the basics of real estate. Real estate is buying and selling or renting property. It can be residential property or it can be business orientated property. But interestingly enough, if you get yourself a dictionary on real estate, you'll find articles on 600 different words. It's quite a complex area. So it depends what you want to do. Are you going to buy it to live in, that's pretty straightforward, or are you going to buy it for investment to get a rental from it? Um, there are, you have to watch out because rental properties, you have to watch out for periods which there's no rental coming in because the property is empty. So if you've got a mortgage, you've got to balance off the cost against the fact that you've still got to pay the mortgage. Um, the people involved in real estate are real estate experts, investors, developers, property company reps, and brokers and consultants. So it's quite a complex field. Uh, we've all heard the, that famous quote, location, location, location. This is a priority when you're choosing any real estate. The question is, real estate is all about land, and its buildings and the natural resources on that particular piece of land. It might be water, it might be something else, it might be farmland. So you have to decide whether you're going for, you're hoping for income, and of course you're going to be hoping in the long term for capital appreciation. The, the type of development, it could be, if you're going into development, it could be office, it could be retail, it could be industrial, it could be a family buildings, it could be hotels. So there's many different styles of real estate that you have to be familiar with and you have to be very clear whether you're going, if it's residential, whether you're going for apartment or terraced or semi-detached or even a cooperative where a group of people get together and invest in a residential property. Duplex. And that also, interesting enough, real estate includes portable dwellings like mobile homes, even sophisticated tents and houseboats. So this is the whole area of real estate. Quite a complicated area, but you have to decide very clearly where you're going and also you have to bear in mind, essentially, it's an illiquid asset. It isn't, you can't sell a property overnight. You have to be very well aware that it takes time. Of course it's supply and demand. Inflation interest rates, all these things will pinge on the sort of results you're going to get and the time it's going to take to get benefit out of your real estate. Thank you for joining us. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.